What's up world, it's the next day almost 12, so this is the next day, so I'm gonna review the Hell in a Cell full pay per view. The title of matches I reviewed it fully, they're there, and this matches there, I'm gonna review the whole rest of the pay per view and my thoughts. Um, pay per view is crap. Honestly, I did not like the pay per view. For the tag match, the announcers didn't know what they were talking about. Perhaps they were gonna be all three in the ring at the same time. Then tagging but twelve them in the ring. But why well, can't you have all three at the same time? No makes sense. And Cody Rhodes Road Brother win it. Um Okay, let's see what other matches were and after that it was uh, let's go check on this website. I'm just gonna see what match was after it. It wasn't really a memorable pay per view. Miz ring segment. Miz was in the ring uh, talking about Bray Wyatt, how he's injured him and he can't wrestle tonight. And then uh, the Bray Wyatt promo cuts in, and then the Wyatt, um, those two other big guy, Ron, and the other guy, whatever, whatever his name is. I'm just too tired. Uh, those two guys came in the ring, uh, Wyatt's uh, family members, and they beat down Miz, but Kane comes back. Kane comes I, I marked that, but it was obvious Kane had to come back somewhere or another around this time. It was a really predictable pay-per-view. And then Kane comes back and Chuck slams all those two uh, Bray Wyatt family members, and Chuck slams Miz also, so that means Kane is heel. You don't know, or it is on his own. Um, then we get a um, mixed tag match. It's uh, uh, Summer Ray and Fandango versus uh, Kali and uh, Kali. Mm, okay. Uh, Kali, Fandango versus Natalia and Kali. So, alright, this match was a sleeper. That's why I didn't remember Natalia was in it. Who was in it? Forgot about it. Like, Natalia was in it now? I'm like, yeah. But seriously, Natalia was in a title match and now he's in, she's next. And now she's with colleague in Jobber. And we all know she's married with uh, Tyson Kidd. So, what the fuck are you putting these two together? Having the marriage gimmick on live TV when you already did it on your other show. Totally what we build it. Anywho, this was a sleeper match. Uh, Fandango at start, Fandango danced his cha cha, but it was a sleeper match. And uh, Greg Collie and Natalia didn't want it. As always, they do in Raw. But this time they didn't. Oh, Summer Ray, P, and Natalia finally giving some young talent a chance to win a show. Then we get uh, the United States Championship, which was made in the pre-show at WWE.com so this match was made in the pre-show which Biggie Langston was gonna go against uh, Curtis Axel but he was injured so he laid a challenge against Dean Ambrose this match was awesome no offense I mean the, for me though Hell in a Cell match main event didn't do it but this match the thing is this match with the two new talents going together. Like Dean Ambrose is still new to me. He's still got more to show. He's still got a lot of things to do in this ring to be considered an old talent. But but against Biggie Langston. In between the match somewhere they were uh, on the uh, mat. You know how when you wanna go outside the ring there's a mat. Yeah, on the ropes and then Biggie headbutts uh, Dean Ambrose and he gets uh, uh, swelling here, and yeah, Biggie gets a big red thing like a boxer, like someone punched it, get a big, big swell, and Biggie wins by count out. But he tries to get the numbers back a couple of times, but he got he lost by count out. And Biggie does his finisher at the end, so this might be the chance for Biggie to be in a big title. Biggie needs to be in the main event. He needs to be a world title holder, WWE title holder, because 
WWE needs to have a black champion. They're always having like white people other than black people, African American champion. No race. I'm not being racist. Being black. But you know. You get my point. Anyways, then after that we thought we gonna get a diva match, but they didn't. After that we got CM Punk versus Paul Heyman versus Ryback, which is the same shit as last year. The all three but different spots. Yeah, heels. It was right back with Paul Heyman, heel manager, and Swank is just like, oh, it was a back and forth match like last time they had. It really wasn't a good match. I knew, I mean, what I liked was Paul Heyman did not come in the ring. He, he had, they had this um, small truck thingy, like when you, when they, when you want to go on top, and then they drag the Heyman on top of the, he was standing there, was scared, but he was on top, and I knew Stan Punk was gonna win He beat right back, and he went up top, and he beat down Heyman, and he did go to sleep. Finally, they end that feud. Probably, hopefully, yes, they end that feud, because I want to see Punk versus Randy Orton, and I versus D. Bryan to get the chance to versus Randy Orton for so number one contendership matches which that would be awesome which WWE doesn't do much anymore which they should have anyways Waller is on top of the cell getting beat down and took a long time to get him down the cell so anyway yeah then we get Los Matadores versus Real American we thought that was gonna be a, a long term feud but no they had the match already and Los Matadores win by a botch. Let's see what this website says about this match because there was a botch here. Mm, yeah, there was a little bit botch. Double team move was kind of a botch. Yeah, that was kind of a botch for me. Diago comes to the top row and Diago pulls the rope back so he can't reach it. Cesaro gets knocked down to the floor. Matador is tagged in and his double team moves. It was kind of a bot the way he came in. And then Matador is when, but uh, here, what I'm saying, Cesaro did his uh, swing. It was awesome that one. But other than that, not doing the damn about this match because I was busy. And Zeb Coulter gets beat down by the uh, bowl, the load of Torito. Torito is like Dorito. Alright, then we get the World Heavy Championship, which Cena wins. I already talked about that in another super video. Uh, Diva Championship. AJ and Tamina. Same shit that WWE did at first, and TNA copy. Uh, Lady Tapa and uh, Kate, um, Kate, Gail Kim. Same thing here. AJ Lee and See, Asia Lee sounds like an Asian name. Gail Kim is Asian. So, Lady Tapa is cousin with Tamina. Same thing. Same exact thing. But Tamina looks much better. Lady Tapa is a big, woofy hair, big, scary lady, which is not cleanly big. Tamina looks like a manly big, like China. That's what is awesome. But Brie Bella loses again. Nikki had to should have the match, but still Brie having matches. But Brie loses. Uh, whatever. Brie loses. Then we get the World Championship match, which I already talked about. Pay per view, I would give it a, a pass. 6 out of 10. Because it was awful. It did not do anything for me. I knew Paul Heyman gonna get somehow hurt. And CM Punk gonna win it. I knew Randy Orton gonna get the title. John Cena gonna get the title. AJ Lee not gonna lose the title because she was just paired with Tamina. And I knew the tag team championship Rose Brother gonna win it. So what's here? The surprise. The only surprise could have been happening, which I already kind of guessed it might happen, was send out cashing in. But he had a pre show match against Kofi and he won it. Finally, he won a match, but Sandow catching on Cena, which will happen in future. Cena gonna make Sandow a big star, as us, me, 
might have talked in my other videos not then it's here it's late so I forget what I talked about in my other videos it's like I'm really tired I've been up for a while yeah so anywho if you want to watch this pay-per-view pay for it don't waste your money and if you're a TNA fan and haven't watched the TNA Bound for Glory go ahead and go watch it it was a better pay-per-view than this pay-per-view every title changed in that pay-per-view and it was a reset for them it was awesome even though not many buys not many crap happened but it was an awesome pay-per-view even though it was kind of predictable it was so awesome and yeah so I don't really review TNA if you guys want I'll do some part of a review so anywho peace out Go get WWE for 2K14. It's an awesome game. I watched some highlights on YouTube. Peace.